On this week's Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy revisit bass fishing and show us a couple other ways to try and catch that trophy fish. Tonight we're going to talk about another segment on bass fishing because bass fishing is getting so huge. If you watch the papers, the sports sections, you'll see there's all kinds of bass tournaments starting to happen all over central, northern Minnesota, in southern Minnesota. So it's important, we think, to give you some other tips and ways to catch bass. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is what we call just a spinner bait. And it's a spinner bait with a little trailer, and this has got a little what we call a paddle or a paddle tail. And a paddle tail is just a plastic imitation minnow, and it's a great little extra action when you're casting spinner baits. And spinner baits can be casted in shallow water over the tops of weeds, or you can come off over the weed bed and let the shallow, let the uh, weight drop down and hit those drops that come off the weed edges, and you will find bass sometimes shallow, sometimes they'll be deep, and that's a very good technique for covering ground and see if you can find where some of the bass are. Another technique that I really like is frog fishing. And frog fishing is probably as effective as anything in real shallow water. And people don't believe it sometimes, but even in the mid-hot summer days, you can find big bass in a foot, foot and a half water right up on the shallows. And a frog is a perfect thing. That's what they're used to seeing in that shallow water. And so casting that frog right up in there and just walking it along, you will be amazed at how many bass you will catch. Cranks, you can't forget about crankbaits. I like these ones, uh, they got a little bit of action, and they'll see on the front bill how, how deep that they actually dive. So a, a thing to remember too when casting cranks, always cast them 20-30% further than where you're trying to target at. But some have rattles, they come in all different shapes and sizes and, and colors, and they're a really good way to find the fish, and once you target where those fish are actually at, then you can move in with a different bait. Another casting bait that you cast and retrieve is one of my favorites. And this is a chatterbait. Not a lot of people use chatterbaits, but it's got this little front fin on here and it kind of works like a, a spinnerbait does. It gets a bit of a flash, but it does actually make a chatter noise the whole way back and it's got a little vibrating action. There again, I've got this tipped uh, also with a paddle tail. And you just walk this through it there. It can be used in shallow water, mid-depth water, even deep water. So those are some very good tips and we hope that you use them and you can land some big bass. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Bio. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.